This is mental. Too much people. There is out of the world should be interesting this is what the platform looks like so as you can see there's not really that many people here for Dhaka this is mental this is the reason I came here get a ticket. just one of the most beautiful things that you've ever seen in your whole entire life. It was one of the main reasons I wanted to come here because of that. So seeing it now is so happy. It's incredible. Very happy. Very happy. So apparently the seats are super hard to get hold of so people just jump on the engine and on the roof anything they can really get and then you can see the people selling food even on the roof. It's that crazy. Apparently it's not legal but nobody cares. This is like completely uncharted territory as far as tourism goes. You know, I've said a hundred times, everybody just comes up to you and wants to talk and you basically come here and you're famous. I'm not saying that's necessarily a good thing, but it shows that tourism is such a new thing here and you come here and it's really like traveling as you'd expect traveling to be, kind of. I'm not being like a travel snob or anything, but you know, you have this kind of romantic idea of traveling and this is really how it kind of is in your, in your mind before you start doing it. So to be able to tap into that, it makes me want to go to more countries that are the less known countries and that's probably what I'm going to be thinking about after this trip is aiming for the less known countries. Still waiting for the train, I think it's delayed but that's expected and uh, we will head to Chittagong. <laughs> My name is Jeff. Okay, so we've made it on the train and it's like a really nice train. They've got plugs, seats are clean and the walls are all like polished and I don't know why but I wasn't expecting this. It's surprising, especially when you see the outside, right? This is an AC compartment because they, they had no more left of the other cabins. So we got the AC compartment. <coughs> Look how luxury it is. It's crazy to think that we can be sitting in this area. Meanwhile, at the other end of the train, there's like 6,000 people in the roof because they can't fit in. So if you've got literally a few more dollars, you get all this space. And that's the world that we live in. So anyway, gonna sit back and enjoy the view. Very pleasantly surprised by this train ride. How long's the train ride? Where did you go to the maximum? Six hours long, so. It's just when I am alone, I get these thoughts on my dome. It makes me wanna go home.
jungle. Robin, how's the train ride? Oh, train ride? Yeah. Ah, uh, it's good. You having fun? Actually, I was tired. That's why I'm going uh, upstairs to uh, uh, sleep. But I, I usually enjoy train journey. Yeah, train is the best way to travel. Yes. We've got this whole cabin to ourselves now, which is pretty cool. So we've got like a bed each. The other train and there's like 500 people on the roof. Oh. And then here we've got this whole thing. <laughs> That's so wrong in so many ways. So I might have a nap because I only got four hours of sleep last night. That editing life. The train ride's going well. Absolutely loving it. So much comfort. But I got some interesting news via email. Apparently someone in Albania has been using my credit, trying to use my credit card. So that's always good news. Must have been when I was in Albania like two months ago. Someone got my credit card information and now they're trying to top up their phone. So weird. It's like if you're going to commit credit card fraud, like you're going to spend more than $15. So I've got that to contend with. But apart from that, everything's going great. Okay, so I just had a nap and uh, bought some chicken here. That's all I had. Just a little over one US dollar bread and chicken there. They said it was cooked today, so let's see how we go. to rain outside. The journey's going pretty well. I'm bringing the coffee in these little cups. It's really luxurious. I'm very impressed. made it to Chittagong. The train ride was super comfortable. I wasn't expecting it to be that luxurious. Now we're gonna try and find out where we're staying. We might get a hotel or Robin's friend might let us stay at his house, but we're not quite sure. So we'll see what happens. As you can see those views there are pretty intense at times. Lots of slums on the side and lots of little kids collecting plastic to sell. And lots of beautiful areas as well. Lots of farmland. Bangladesh actually has some of the most fertile farmland in the whole world. The soil here is just so rich. But then on the other hand, you have lots of floods constantly fighting with the weather really. Very rich and fertile farmland anyway.
All right, guys, so we made it to Robin's friend's house. He met us at the train station, and then he took us to this restaurant and bought us this huge spread of Bengali food in this seafood restaurant, because seeing as we're sitting right on the sea right now, they're famous for their seafood. Use your hands for like eating and then wash them in this little bowl that they bring around at the end. It's pretty cool to see that side of the culture. Pretty interesting day, as you can see there. Very cool to see the train travel and that train because I've always wanted to see that, like I mentioned. Also interesting to see the slums and things, even if it is quite sad at times. After that meal that Robin's friend bought us all, we jumped in a rickshaw, a CNG, and came back to his house through the streets. Get like a good idea of the place. The traffic is definitely not as bad as Dakar. But in tomorrow's video, we are going to the ship graveyard. So that's gonna be super interesting. Just this big area with heaps of broken up ships and things are sitting along the coast. Companies from all over the world dump their ships and things and then the locals come and recycle all the parts. From the photos I've seen it's going to be absolutely amazing. Uh, just before I go I want to give a shout out to Colin, a new patron. Thanks for joining the crew man. Anyone else that wants to know about patron, links are always linked below. If you want to join the list to receive a card after my trip to Bangladesh I'll be sending out some cards to all my patrons so if you want to receive a handwritten card from me, links in the description or at the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you tomorrow for some more of this breathtaking country. Jungle. Jungle.